Hello, guys. Good evening. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you doing today? Great. Great, you? Very Great. good. Thanks for asking. So I hope everybody's doing okay today. So one more time, yeah. welcome to this class. So happy to see you back. And uh, well, we are going to continue today the same things or the same topic that we left yesterday, okay? And uh, well, before to start the class, I know that not everybody's here, so I will say this probably later on when we have more than 10 students. So, um, well, yesterday we saw the model verbs, right? So, um, what yeah. do you remember? Let me see. Uh, Eunice Ramirez, what do you remember about models? Tell me a little bit about that. Um, are a word express ability or perceivability and some examples are can, cool, may, might, and, and will. Thank you so much. Very good. So today we will continue with the other ones that we couldn't, uh, we couldn't see yesterday. And we will finish that today with the pronunciation of all those model verbs. So um, let's see. Let me let me share the the slide with you. Just give me a moment. Well, I see that we're just 11 still. But let's see. Okay, perfect. So here we have, uh, let me see, we left. The last one we saw yesterday was shall, wasn't it? Yeah, shall, right? Yes, it was. Perfect. So today we will start to see from this one. Should. should. This will be the next one that we will see today. Should. Should. That's the way that we pronunciate it. Should. So what should. does model verb mean? It means or indicates a recommendation or obligation, or it can reflect an opinion of what is right or correct. Yes, so most of the times these model verbs, we're going to use it in order to indicate a recommendation of something, okay? Most of the time it is used in that way. So with that being said, let me, give you some examples over here. So we have, let me see. I should call my parents more often. I should call my parents more often. As you can see here on this, uh, on this little picture that we have over there, uh, there you have the meaning. What's the meaning of should, deber or debería? Yes. So, example number two. You should practice more if you want to learn English. This is what you should do. You should practice more if you want to learn English. Deberían practicar más si quieres aprender inglés, okay? That's an advice, a recommendation for you as well, okay? So, um, next one, you should take your medicine. You should take your medicine. So this one, this model verb is really easy. The only thing that you have to keep in mind or that you have to remember 
is that this model verb should, we would use it to indicate a recommendation, okay? That's it. It's not that complicated, okay? So, any question about this model verb? No questions. No questions. No questions. Perfect. Let's see the next one. The model verb ought to. Ought to. Listen, ought to. Ought to. That's the way we pronunciate it. This one, it is a synonym of should, but this one is less common. As common, so that means that we do not use it that much. Why? Because it is too formal, and normally it is used in formal documents, article, newspapers, or something like that. So we can say that that this is the formal part or the formal the formal part of the model verb should. This is really, really, really formal. You do not see it uh, like in daily basis. No es algo que vayamos a ver daily, right? This one, it is a synonym, so that means that it means, it means the same as should, and it has the same position and the same meaning as should, but this is the formal, the very, very formal part of should. So with that being said, we're going to go to the examples. She ought to go, she ought to go with her sister. As I told you some minutes ago, it has the same meaning of should. So if we translate that, that will be something like, de ella debería ir con su hermana. It has the same meaning, the same meaning as should, but remember that this is just the very formal part of should. So next one, we ought, we ought not, we ought not assume the worst. No deberíamos asumir lo peor. We ought not assume the worst. And the third one, you ought to, you ought to be more polite. You ought to be more polite. Something that you can notice there, something that is very clear, that if you can see when we use ought to in the negative way, we erase the, the um, this part, the um, part of two, this two, yes? So we omit it and we do not put it there when we are trying to say something in the negative way. This preposition two, we don't put it there. As you can see example number two, we are talking in the negative way and we omit it the preposition to. We do not say it and we just put, instead of using to, we only put the word not and it comes automatically in the negative way. So we do not say, we ought to not. We say, we ought not. We ought not assume the worst. Mm -hmm. So any question with this one? No questions, teacher. No questions, perfect. So I still see that not everybody's here, but okay, guys. If you saw today in the WhatsApp group, what I just told you about working on the platform. So I don't know if the guys that I mentioned there are in this video conference, but if they are here, I just wanted to tell you, please guys, keep working on the platform, okay? Take your time, but because at the end of the day, that will be something that will help you to get to be with us the next module, okay? So for the ones that are working, I have been checking that information because I have access to your job 
I mean, I can see whatever, the, all the things that you're doing on the platform, I can see it. So congratulations to the other ones and keep on working on that, okay? Do not stop. And that's why I wanted to say thank you to the ones that are working and the other ones, please try to do it. If you can like do it like 10 minutes a day, that will be that will be something really great for you, okay? Thank you so much for the ones that are working. Congratulations and please keep doing it, that great job that you're doing, okay? And for the other ones, please try to do it. That's the only thing I wanted to say, okay? So any questions that you might may uh, might have with this model verb ought to? Keep in mind the pronunciation because today we will have something about pronunciation. So I needed to keep the pronunciation because I will ask each one of you to verify if you have been paying attention. Okay? Today it will be practice day. So if there is no more questions or if there's any question about it, we will go to the next one. That is almost the last one. Must, must. The model verb must, this one, it is the only one that indicates 100% obligation. It means 100% obligation or prohibition, prohibition when we use it in the negative way. So in the positive way, it would always mean 100% obligation. But when you use it in the negative way, it will mean prohibition, okay? Necessity, it is a synonym of have to. A synonym of have to in the affirmative sentence, yes? It is pretty much the same if we use have to. Yes, so let me give you some examples over there. We have, uh, you must, between parentheses, if you can see there, have to read this book. It's fantastic. You must read this book. It's fantastic. Or I could easily say, you have to read this book. It's fantastic because this is a synonym. So there's no problem if you use have to, but remember that have to, it is not a model verb. Have to, it is a tense. We use that part in order to talk about a tense that is about obligation. So this is just a com uh, like comparing all those topics, the two topics have to and must, but uh, keep in mind that, that the model verb in this case is must, must. Example number two, you must not drink and drive. No debes tomar y manejar. You must not drink and drive. This is, as, a, as I told you one more time, in the positive way, it would always means obligation. 100% obligation. But if we use it in, in the negative way, it will, it will mean prohibition, okay? Right, so the last example, he must be back by tomorrow. El debe regresar mañana. Yes? So, any question that you might have with the model verb must, or everything is clear. Is everything clear, guys? Well, in the in the sentence number two, teacher, mm -hmm. you must not drink and drive, of course. But you can drink and drive water, Coca Cola. Yeah, yeah, this is just, let's say it like, is like, like the situation, for example, when someone goes to, to a party 
And uh, for example, oh. your, your mother tells you, okay, if you're going to drink or something like that, please do not drive. This is like something like prohibition that she's giving to you. Yeah. Like, do you understand the idea? Like she's saying, do not do that. That's why I can, for example, if you are my mother and you tell me, Nelson, if you go to a party, you must not drink and drive because you are prohibiting something to me. Because remember that when we use must in the negative way, it doesn't mean obligation. It means prohibition. Yes. Oh, it's so, just like a, hmm? like a, a little, a little chascarillo. <laughs> well, yeah, of course, drink be uh, alcoholic beverage mm -hmm. is pro prohibited. Mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I got a question here in the chat from Elizabeth Amaya asking that if the modal verbs do not have contractions. Siempre será el verb not. No, remember not. The word not is not a verb. La palabra not is not a verb. That's uh, like a particle, una partícula that we use to make a sentence in negative, but that is not a verb. Some of them, for, for example, the model verb could, do we have a contraction to the negative way? Couldn't. Couldn't, perfect. But Elizabeth, with these ones, for example, with ought to, with um, shall not, we shall, we, we, we do not have contractions. We cannot say shallant, no. We say shall not, we say um, ought not. With some of them, we have contractions, but with another ones, we do not have. For example, with the first one we saw yesterday, that is can, yes, we have a contraction in the negative way. We say can't. With could, we also have a contraction. We say couldn't. But with this one, we say must, must not. You must not, we cannot contract it. Yes? I hope I answered your questions. So if there's no questions with this one, must, let's go to the last one. The last one that we have for today, it is commonly used like every single day. Or you have probably used that. Would, would. This one, the model verb would, it is used to make request with kindness. And, and, uh, and also helps to point out constant actions in the past. So this one, the model verb would, it, we will always use it to make, to, to make a request, to be in the polite way. Educados, vea, con educación, con amabilidad. Yes? Because if we see the first example, it says, I would like a cup of tea, please. Me gustaría una taza de té, por favor. You are making a request. Estás haciendo un, o estás dando una orden, una request pero lo estás haciendo amablemente, with kindness. Yes, that's why you say, I would like a cup of coffee, please. I'm sorry, a cup of tea, please. Example number two. He would visit her sister every day. Él visitará o visitaría su hermana cada, cada fin de semana. Él visitaría su hermana cada fin in the semana. And the third one, would you like to taste it? ¿Le gustaría probarlo? Would you like to taste it? 
because it is not the same if I say, do you like to taste it? Quiere probarlo, right? Do you like to taste it? Lo estoy diciendo de una forma tosca y directa, pero en este caso, si yo, if I use the model verb would, automatically you will make the request, but with kindness. And it will give you that kindness when you ask the question, would you like to taste it? Would you like to taste it? Yes. So that's pretty much it. Uh, this is the last model verb that we have. How many, let me ask you, how many model verbs do we have? Eleven. Eleven? Ten. Do we have eleven or ten? Ten model verbs. Ten model verbs. Okay. Any question that you might have at this moment? Something that you would like me to help you in? Something that you will need help so ask the questions now so I can help you. Sure. Yes, Joaquin? Okay, um, the, the word taste is synonymous the um, try? Yes, that's a synonym of try, but this verb test, we use it. Test just for taste, I'm sorry, taste. taste. We use taste. it, taste, yeah, taste, taste. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Este, this one, we use it, for example, for food. Yes. When you're talking about food, porque no te puedo decir usar, use the verb try, because if I ask you, would you like to try pizza? ¿Te gustaría tratar? No, right? O probar la pizza. Cuando queremos decir probar, to taste, es un sinónimo de tratar también, pero this verb taste es como probar. Like probar comida uh, o sentirle el sabor to the food or something like that. That's the main meaning that we use it. Saborear, mm -hmm. teacher. Mm -hmm. Like that. Saborear o probar something, but in the, in the food. In that case, podríamos des, podríamos, could we say, could we say that we taste the perfume or do we smell it? Smell it. Mm -hmm. In that case, we cannot use taste. Why? Because we cannot taste like with your tongue. You cannot taste the perfume, but you can smell it. So you could say, would you like to smell it? Like smell it? Mm -hmm. Yes. So any other question? No questions so far? Well, teacher, uh, it has begun uh, raining very strong here. Oh, really? Yes, and, and, I, <laughs> and I can't hear completely, but I, I will continue, okay? It's okay, it's okay. Do, do not worry about it. I will also send you the presentation, this presentation tomorrow morning or I will do it today as we finish the class, okay? Because I didn't do it yesterday or I didn't do it today because we, we hadn't finished the topic completely. So we are going to do that today and I will send it to you at the end of the class or I will do it tomorrow in the morning, okay? So do not worry about it. You can check one more time the information in case you don't understand something, ask me, through the through the WhatsApp group that we have, so I can help you to resolve any doubt you have. And if you have problems like trying to understand 
any exercise on the platform or you don't know how to do so or any problem that you might have on the platform, feel free to ask me, okay? okay so, we will start with the pronunciation part. Let's start with the pronunciation part, okay? And I will yeah. ask someone from the group. Let me see who will be the first one. Uh, Reynaldo, thank you so much, Reynaldo. Can you hear me, Reynaldo? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, okay, thank you. So I need you to please okay. help me pronunciating each one of the model verbs we saw during this class. So go ahead. Me, teacher? Yes, you. Everyone is going to do it. Uh, uh, for this list? Yeah, the list. Pronunciation. No, no. I want to Can, listen to the pronunciation. Go, go ahead. Can, call, may, my, may, will, will, shall, should, must, ought to. Okay. Can you repeat one more time the second one? Oh. Okay. There we have a problem. We do not pronounce the letter L. We say could. We do not pronounce the letter L. Uh, the same as in will. We do not say could. We do not say would. We do not say should. We do not pronounce the letter L. We say could. We say would. And we say should. Okay? Okay. So repeat it one more time. Repeat it one more time all over again. Okay. Can, could, may, may, will, will, shall, should, must, of to. Okay. The, the number four, we do not say may and may. We say may and might. May and might. My, may. May, it is the number three. Might, number four. Okay, thank you so much okay, for participating, okay. Reynaldo. So let's see now. Um, Sandra Raceli, go ahead. Oh, you said it is raining, okay. right? Can you hear me? Yes. Moral verbs. Can, could, may, might, will, would, shall, should, must, ought to. Thank you. Very good. So, Katya, go ahead. Can, could, may, might, will, would, shall, should, must, ought to. Can you repeat one more time? The one that is uh, after shall? Should. Should, okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Next one, Joaquin, thank you so much. Go ahead. Okay. Model verbs, can, could, might, no. See, may, might, will, good, shall, should, must out. We say ought to. Ought to. Ought to. Ought to. Mm -hmm. ought to. Thank you so much, Joaquin. Next one, Ana Muñoz. Thank you so much. Can you help me, please? Yes. Can, could, I, okay, may, my, will, would, shall, should. Must auto. Thank you so much. Next one, Basilia Monterrosa. Go ahead. Can, could, may, might, will, will, shall, 
child, child must up to. Okay, Basilia. Remember, we, we do not pronounce the letter L. So we said should, should. We say would, should. no. Do not pronounce the letter L. Do not pronounce it. No pronuncia la letra L. Solo decimos should. Hacemos un sonido de la letra D al final. Should. 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 Some, something like that. The same as could, the same as would, should. Repeat it one more time, please. All over again. Can, could, may, my, will, will, shall, shall, should, shall, shall. No, shall should. with the letter L. Shall. Mm -hmm. Should. Must up to. Or to. Or to. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, Josue Mauricio, thank you so much. Please help me. Can, could, may, my, will, good, shall, should, must up to. Thank you. Okay, everybody pay attention to this. We do, we have to be um, really careful with the pronunciation of might. You have to make a little sound of the letter T at the end. So make it clearly, okay? Because if you don't make that sound clearly, for some American or native people who speaks English since they were born, Sometimes, if you don't pronounce well the words, they won't be able to understand you. And that's why it is very important that you pronunciate the words in the right way. Remember, can, could, may, might, will, would, shall, should, must, ought to. Up to. Thank you so much, Josue Mauricio. Thank you for participating. So, Eunice Ramirez, go Thank ahead. Can, could, may, might, will, would, shall, should, must, ought to. Very good. That was a very good pronunciation. Thank you. Jenny Glorivel, go ahead. Can. Could, may, might, will, would, shall, should, must, out, out. Or to, or to, or to, or to, like a letter O, or to. Or to. Okay, I heard you said can. At the very beginning, I heard you say can. Can. We. We can say can, but most of the time, the word lo pronunciamos like can in the British English. But in the American English, we do not pronunciate it in that way. We say can. Okay, for, can. The, next, for the next time, we say it can. So thank you so much for participating. Candida Reyes, can you help me please? Um, molar verbs can, could, may, my, will, would, shall, should, mock, how to. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Stephanie Ramirez, are you there? Yes. Go ahead. Can, could, may, might, will, would, shall, should, must, ought to. Very good pronunciation. Thank you so much. Let me see. Diana Yamilet, help me please. Can, called, may, might, will, wall, chai, shot, 
Más auto. Okay, the other ones that are already participating, please keep on practicing the pronunciation because I will ask you one more time, okay? Okay. So, uh, Ana Yancy Orellana. Are you there? Hello, hello. Well, I think she's not there. Elizabeth de Amaya. Okay, teacher. Go ahead, thank you. Can, could, may, my, will, would, chat. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I don't know if there's a problem with the signal, but I couldn't hear you the, the last part. I just heard till the model verb shall. Can you repeat them one more time? Can you, can you hear me? Can everybody hear me? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, I thought I thought I was like like he freeze. All right, so um, Karen Melendez, okay. go ahead, please. Can it's okay, Ana Munoz. Would, go ahead. Would, go ahead, Karen. Would. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Can could make might might will. Would, must, shall, should, be up to. Okay, let me ask someone else. Uh, Liliana Melendez, can you help me please? Okay, teacher. Can, okay. Could, can, could, may, might, will, would, Shall, should, must, up to. All right. Thank you. Uh, let me see the um, another one. Charlie, please. Can, could. Charlie, may, hello. Might, will, would, shall, hello. should, must. Can you please help me pronunciate in that? Can, could. Can, may, go, may, might, will, will, will show, will, show, show, must, up to. Okay, must, thank you so much. Erlin Laines. Go ahead, please. Can, could, may, might, will, would, show, should, must, up to. Thank you. Erika Quintanilla, go ahead. Can, could, could may, may, might, will, will, shall, should, must, ought to. Thank you so much. Ricardo Mancilla, go ahead. Uh, can, could, may, might, will, will, shall, should, must, our to. Thank you, Stephanie Roxana. Can, could, may, might, will, would, would, should, should, must, oh. can, could, could, may, might, will, would, Okay, thank you. And the last one, but not least one, Claudia Rivas. Can, 
to mass auto. Who, thank you. Who has not participated yet? Who has not participated yet? No. Who has not participated yet? ¿Quién no ha participado aún? Hello, can you hear me? Who has not participated yet? Well, I think that if nobody says anything, everybody already participated. All right. I see that some of you probably know, but you're, you're still having some problems when it comes to pronunciation. I want to remind you one more time. Please do not pronunciate the letter L on the model verb could. We do not pronunciate the letter L. The same as in the model verb would. We do not pronunciate the letter L. The same as in the model verb should. We do not pronunciate the letter L. And one more time. Please make the, the sound of the letter T in the model verb might. Listen, might. I will repeat it one more time, all of them. Can. Teacher. Yes. Can. Can. In the four is might. 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 We make a uh, remember to make the sound of the letter T at the end, the phonetic sound, the T, 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 T. Like, all right. So I will repeat it three times each one and pay attention to that. So later on, I will ask you one more time. I will repeat it three times each one. I will start. Can. 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 May. 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 Might. 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 Pronunciate the letter T, please. I do not listen to the sound of the letter T. Might. Might. My 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 all right thank you will 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 listen do not pronunciate the letter l do not pronunciate it would would Shall. 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 Should. 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 Must. 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 Or two. Or two. Oh. Listen, listen to that. We do not say O oh, to. We oh, to. we only say the letter O. O to. O to. No decimos O oh, to. Oh, to. Eso no lo decimos. Escucho todavía algunos que están diciendo O oh, to. No. Es solo la letra O. Oh. O2, 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 O
Candida Reyes, hello. Candida. Aquí, Hey. Cool. May. My. Way. Well. Char. Should. Mock. Mock. How to. All right. Perfect. And the last person I'm going to ask is going to be Erlin Laines and then Liliana Melendez. You are going to be the last ones. But first, Erlin Laines, go ahead. Okay. Can, would, made, might, will, would, shall, should, must, ought. All right, all right, let me see. Thank you. Liliana, go ahead. Can, could, may, might, will, could, shall, should, must, or to. Okay, thank you so much. Guys, what is the reason why I'm asking you to pronounce these words correctly? Why? Because I want you to learn the right pronunciation of the language. I know we can be like a little bit boring or you could say, oh, it's so easy to say it. Why is he asking me to say that again? No, it mm -hmm. is because when, uh, when you try to speak with someone that is native from the language, it will be a little embarrassing for you if you cannot speak or you, if you cannot pronounce True. the word correctly. So that's why I am doing this because yeah. I want you to learn the right pronunciation of the words, okay? So, um, is everything clear at this moment? Or you have any question or any other pronunciation that you want me to tell you one more time so it can be clear? Yeah. All right, so I will pronounce them one more time. And this is gonna be the last time that I will pronounce them for you. Pay attention to this pronunciation, and uh, this is going to be the last one. Can, could, may, might, will, would, shall, should, must, should. or to. Must. All right. So, with that being said, it is the time for you all to practice, and you are going to help me. If you have a cell phone with you over there, you can take a picture of that, so it can be faster. So, if, if you have, like, uh, like, a cell phone with you, just take a picture, because we are going to work in teams. I will create some uh, breakout rooms and it will be randomly. And I need you all, depending on the group you get to, please work on these four sentences and try to find which one of the model verbs fits perfect. Cual de los model verbs that, that we have between parentheses fits, queda in the end of sentence. Okay, so Claudia Rivas, okay. She says that she doesn't hear anything because of the rain. Um, well, Claudia, um, we're going to work on, the, on these exercises. Uh, I will create some breakup rooms. So did you already take the, 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 the picture? Did you all did it right now? Yes? Yes. All right, I will stop sharing these and I will go to create the breakout rooms. So it will be on Teams, guys. It will be on Teams. So please try to find out which of the model verbs between in parentheses fits perfectly on the, on the sentence. I will create the groups right now. Let me see, we are 23. Let me see. All right. 
So let me see. It will be one group of four. It will be three groups of four and two groups of five. So go now, please, and try to start working on the on the exercises. Go ahead. The other ones, please join the breakout rooms. Anayansi Orellana, I see that you are on group number, room number four with Eunice, Ricardo, okay. Have, you will have a six minutes to complete it, guys. Six minutes to complete it, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Liliana? They should. Mm -hmm. I they think they should practice more if they want to win the championship. The championship. Of course. Okay, I will do the number three. Sure. You sure. must not drink and drive. Guys, you, you will have six minutes to complete it. Six minutes to complete it, okay? Teacher, uh, we will have uh, the sentence. Any of you? I told you, that's what I told you. Take a picture of the sentence. Teacher, in myself, he... I can take a picture. <laughs> you can, and the other ones, what happened? Erika, no. And, and the number one, I copy, and you help me, and in this case, can you help me? Only that. Yeah, can be, can you help me? Yes. I have the, I have, I have the, the sentences. Uh, the second is they practice more if they went to win the championship. They space made. they space practice more if they want to win the championship. Correct. So you will have six minutes to complete all these sentences. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You have three minutes left, girls. Three minutes left to complete it, okay? Okay, thank you. Ajá, creo que eso le quema como obligation, prohibition, prohibition. Es el ánimo de have two, pero el modo. En la segunda la dejamos con my o con should. You have two minutes left to complete it. Two minutes left. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. The number three is ma. Uh -huh. Y la última. Or will. Guys, you have two minutes left to complete the sentences, okay? You complete. Okay. okay. We finished, teacher. 
All right. So if you already finished, let me go back to this. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Okay, I see. Okay, we're still waiting for the other ones who haven't joined yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Basilia Monterrosa, she's still there. Reynaldo as well. Stephanie, still there. Charlie, still there. Let's see. All right, all right. Okay, so now everybody's here. So everybody's here back. So you already know the people you worked with. So I need one of each group to tell me the, um, the answers of the four questions. So I need a volunteer of each one's of the groups. Teacher. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Teacher, the number yes. one. Okay. Can I help you? Yes. Excuse me, excuse me. I can you help me? Can help me. Okay. Okay. You are part of the group number of, of that group. Number Everybody four. else for another group. Can. Someone else? Can. Number three, can you help me? Can you help me? Okay, Number someone else that can help me with the same sentence from another can group? You, can you help me? Can you help me? Can you help okay. me? Okay, perfect. So let's see uh, any of the groups that can help me with uh, sentence number three. Sentence number three. You must not drink and drive. You must not drink and drive. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Another group that can help me with sentence number two. They should practice. More if they want to win the championship. Does any of you has a different answer of the one that Katya said? No. Can we use Mike? Say it. Let me let me hear that. They might practice more if they want to win the championship. Okay, let's go, let's go back to the the presentation. Mm -hmm. What does might means? Might. Synonym sure. of may indicates possibility in the present or future. All right. So if we say they might practice more if they want to win the championship. So now I ask you, if the modal verb might, it is a synonym of may, what modal verb do we use in order to uh, give a recommendation? Can someone else help or can someone help her? Sure, sure. Should so mm -hmm. in this case, uh, Christy, we cannot use might mm -hmm. 
Why? Because we are giving a recommendation to the team. Yes, we're giving a recommendation. Yeah, in the group we use, I'm sorry, in the group we use should, but I don't know, uh, I request to you if, if it is a possibility yes. to use might. Yeah, yeah, the group you, we use should. Uh -huh. And that's a good observation. Thank you so much for doing mm -hmm. that because mm -hmm. uh, it helped us to, uh, to really understand mm -hmm. how this works. So we, we cannot yeah. use might because mm -hmm. in this case, we are giving a recommendation to the group that if they practice more, they could or they, mm -hmm. or they will win the championship. It is a recommendation mm -hmm. and that's why we cannot use might, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So let me see. Uh, we still have uh, the last one. Let me ask someone. Uh, Diana Jamilet, what do you have in the last one, number four? Or what did your group said about number four? I would like. I would like to go. Yeah. Now you're someday. I would. Okay. So why did you decide to use would and not should? Or should. Why why not should? Why did you did your group decided to use would? All right, I, so with that being said, let me I, ask. Yeah, go ahead. Tell me what 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 you think. Um, tengo dudas con show or wall. All right, so let's see. What do we use should? When do we use should, Araceli? When we are going to do any recommendation. A recommendation. Yeah. So. Karen Melendez, when do we use would? <laughs> Karen Melendez. When, when it's, it's speak the future and how do you say? Si tu intención es mostrar lo que estás dispuesto a hacer. If your intention is to present what you want to do. Yes. All right, Candida Reyes, what do you think? In the, in the sentence number four, is it okay if I use should or is it okay if I use would? What do you think? Which one is the best that we can use on sentence number four. Candida Reyes. Este, I, I will. Will. Por, por, mm -hmm. Porque, bueno, lo, lo entiendo así como que es para un futuro. Que va a, a viajar. A future. Okay, Liliana Mendoza, do you agree with Candida Reyes said? Do you agree with what she said? Sí, pienso que would se utiliza cuando es en futuro. All right. Yes, in this case for the sentence number four, La respuesta que quería que me dieran era que estábamos utilizando would because we use would to make requests. Request for actions. So in this case, the sentence says, I would like to go to New York someday. We're making a request with kindness or a type of action like request that we would like to go to New York someday. Yes, but now I think that you have everything clear. So um, it is sure. almost, well, yes? May I? Yes, yes go ahead. Uh, I believe that I would like to go to New York someday means I have the desire to go. 
in the future. That's right. It is a request that you're doing because you. it is your desire, as you said, to go to New York. It is a kind of, uh, it is a kind of request that you are asking for yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So guys, the last part that I want to tell you for today, one more time, please try to keep working on the platform. Yes that will help you to be with us for the next module. So for the ones that are already working on the platform, one more time, I want to say congratulations to you all and keep on working on that. So this is gonna be the end of this class for today, guys. It was a pleasure for me to be with you one more time and I will see you tomorrow by the same channel for the same hour, okay? <laughs> so take care of yourself you. and see you tomorrow, <laughs> okay? You. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.